South Africa's Route 62 is a must travel experience when visiting this great nation. Even the well journeyed will love the stretch from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town. From east to west, experiencing majestic mountain ranges, delightful accommodations, wonderful wines, exciting experiences, and tempting tastings, all scattered throughout friendly townships and villages. My first stop was about 30 k's out of Udshorn and the world famous Kango Caves, home to some of the finest specimens of stalactite anywhere. And Ranger Steve Morton was happy to show me a few highlights. That's the sizes, the, the, you know, everything all in one space. Mm. They're not unique formations, you find them all over the globe. Yeah. But to find them all in one space and the sizes, colours, things like that, that's really fantastic. In this second chamber here, mm -hmm. what's, what's your pick? What's Steve's special? Uh, you know, it, maybe it would be the completed column. She's right up over there. It's actually known as the Leaning Tower of Pisa, although she doesn't lean at all, but that really is, uh, she's awesome. If you come to think of the, just the normal stalactite and stalagmite, those tiny little straws yeah. that you'd see on the ceiling, to think that after thousands, hundreds of thousands of years, they could finally meet and end up forming something as fantastic as that, um, that is really awesome. I can understand why you think that. I am. There are so many inviting little towns along Route 62, and they're all unique in their own way. Here in Barrydale, you'll come across one of South Africa's best distillers, and they'll really impress you with their knowledge when it comes to the fine art of making brandy. It's always good to get in behind the scenes and see what makes a place tick, not to mention engaging in the history and the origins. Joseph Barry was a maverick and a rebel adventurer and set up camp in Barrydale in the mid-1800s to make brandy and wine. Today, the tradition continues, with the brandy being distilled in time-honoured fashion in copper pot stills. It's certainly an interesting place to check out. That's powerful stuff. On your journey, you'll find plenty of excellent restaurant and food options available. And when it comes to hotels, well, Swallendam has an absolute ripper. I've marked this one down as comfort personified. There are some fantastic accommodation choices in the Western Cape and of course along Route 62. We're in Swellendam now and this is called Garko Lodge, luxury b, b beautiful backdrop, fantastic rooms and a hearty breakfast for a day of adventure. So what about some adventure Western Cape style? The Fufi Slide at Umshanti. Let's go! Andre, there we go, there we go! like to try the Boomschlang in Kirstenbosch Gardens. Beautiful setting that it is. Table Mountain sitting bad, looking after us. Um, it's not really daredevil stuff, but if you have a slight fear of heights, it might get your blood pumping. Possibly the South African adventure to beat all adventures. It's a shark cage dive with the gang from White Shark Projects. This is one of my bucket lists. Before I made my way into Cape Town, I had to indulge in a tasting at Wilderbrahms in Svelendam. Preservative free liqueurs and deli delights, all made on the premises, and they are happy for you to try before you buy. And their Lord of the Ring chili? Be afraid. Be afraid. Amanda's collection has some fabulous accommodation choices right throughout South Africa. This one here is called The Last Word Constantia in Cape Town. Now my friends, this is five star luxury all the way. I know some of you think when I say five star, it's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. This is affordable luxury. Cape Town, 
the mother city, and the final destination on my Route 62 adventure. One of my favourite spots here is at the VA waterfront. It's always enjoyable. Plenty of great food options and an infectious buzz that adds to the excitement. This is the type of night you want out in Cape Town. It's called Richard's Supper Club and Bistro. As you can see, everybody gets into the action. There's some great food on store and they tell you the stories from the mother city. It's unbelievable. You just gotta get into it and go for it. Tourists and locals are charmed with this insight into the mother city through song, dance and storytelling. Topped off with real Cape Malay cuisine and some audience participation, it's a real hands-on experience. Come and discover all the brilliance of Route 62 and the Western Cape for yourself. For all the info you need, head to discoverctwc.co.za.